Hi, you guys. Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. So, McCall's released their new summer patterns, and I thought it would be fun if I did kind of like a reaction video to the new patterns. Um, I've only seen a couple of these through social media so far um, and haven't even looked through them to see the additional views or anything like that. So this will be kind of like a, a first reaction, first response to the patterns and what I think of them. And I don't know, we'll just see what happens. Um, all right. So I'm going to go to their new sewing patterns and I'm going to click the summer collection and here we go. All right, so this very first one is kind of reminiscent of like the 90s. I don't know, was anyone getting a 90s vibe? Oh, that's really pretty. That's a very interesting construction on the bodice there. Where is it in here? Oh, it's like a, a twist detail with a collar in the back. That's cute. Very simple style lines. I guess it's a maxi with a slit. Um, so I guess this would be a pretty easy, yeah, sewing rating is easy. Um, oh, that one's really cute. I had this great fabric that was like a reversible something or another with like blue and white flowers that would have been perfect for that, but I already used it on something that I actually didn't, didn't even end up liking. <laughs> oh, such is life. Yeah, that's really pretty. I don't know about that though on my body type. Um, oh, look at that facing. Huh. Whoops. Um, use nude facings, guys. Nude facings so this doesn't happen to you. Um, but, you know, this looks like a very straight up and down kind of pattern style. This one um, with the color blocking seems like there's some more shaping in there. So I don't know. Cute though. All right, I did see this one online. Jackie, who is the pattern designer for McCall's, posted this one on her page. Um, look at that little side boob action. <laughs> it kind of looks like it's supposed to be like a overalls bib, um, and they're just wearing it without a shirt. Maybe you would want to wear a shirt underneath it or redraft that so it comes up a little higher. Obviously, you would lose the... Um, detail in the back, but I don't know how comfortable you are with all that side boob. Oh, that one's adorable. Okay. I love the grommets and the bow detail. Obviously I love a bow. Um, you wouldn't be able to wear a bra with this one, which is a problem for some people. I don't seem to care that much myself. Um, is this fully lined? I wonder, I don't see any facings or anything. So I'm just curious about that. Maybe they just didn't draw them in. That's really pretty. Maxi, kind of formal looking, except for this is a little bit athletic. Um, there's that side boob again. I don't know about that one or the back. Yeah, I'm not really loving that view, but this one here with the more simpler back and higher raised back to, um, I could see myself wearing that one for sure. All right, next up. Oh, I already know I'm going to like this one. This is very much my style. Interesting fabric choice for the sample. Seems a little stiff. Don't you guys think? That one is adorable. I love the bows on the shoulders. Obviously, that little bit of a sweetheart detail is also really cute. Oh, look, a culotte version. That's cool. And princess seams. I'm kind of digging that. That's also cute, very cute with a um, chambray. Um, yeah, I don't know, this this just looks a little stiff to me. I think I would wanna see a drapier. That is so cute. I definitely have to get this one. Yeah, I think I would make these three, and I would make this one too, but in a different fabric. That length though, I don't know about that ankle length. Um, all right, what's next? Okay, here we go. Oh, look at that. How is that even staying up? 
sewing rating easy, which makes me think that it doesn't have any boning or anything. But it is one of those created ones where you can like mix and match the tops and bottoms. So I do love those a lot. This, I don't know. I don't know about a strapless version. That's cuter with the straps, but gosh, that seems like a lot. Again, like with with the under boob, it doesn't seem like it fits her well. Like I would want to take this in more so it's lower. It would still have that cute cutout detail. Like doesn't that look smaller in the drawing than it does on her? Yeah. That comes up, that tie comes up really high on her. Maybe that's just how they tied it. I don't know. Um, but that's adorable. That's really cute. Love that one. Oh, I love that one. That would even be cute if you did the bow in like a solid and then did this in like a contrast print of some kind. Oh, that is really cute. Oh, that's really cute too. In a print like that. I just don't know. I don't think it would stay up, guys. <laughs> I don't know. There's not any... Well, they're interesting. There are princess seams in the ones with the straps, but not with the ones that are strapless because you could put boning here. And that would help it stay up. Hmm. I wonder if they give any tips for that. Very pretty. This looks familiar. Is this from Joanne? Maybe. That's really cute. I would get that for sure when it goes on sale. Um, for the red version. For the culotte version. But I'd have to make it with the straps. I just wouldn't be, want to be tugging on it all day. All right. Here's another one. Great fabric. That's cute. Is it a knit? It doesn't say. That's not, this seems a little basic. Great for beginners, just a very simple, swingy sheath dress. Hers is really cute, though. I like the contrast here and how they were able to put the stripes on the bias. That's really cool. And yeah. I really like this one. That version's cute. Cute shoes, too. Um, and just a kind of a simple back. Yeah, that's adorable. That's great for summer. That's one of those things. You make it out of linen, and you can just throw it on. I actually saw Stylemaker Fabrics has some new striped linens that would be really, really cute in that. Love it. Now, oh, I don't know. This asymmetrical thing keeps creeping in. Like every new release they have, there's like one or two asymmetrical ones. It's, I don't know. It's just not for me, I don't think. Do you guys like the one shoulder? I don't know. Cute in the back though. Learn to sew for fun level two. Yeah. I just think that, I just don't like, look how they covered her hair, covered her other shoulder with her hair. That also makes me nervous when they do little things like that. I guess they wanted to show this off more than that side, but I don't know. I get nervous about that side staying up. All right, here's one that looks cute. That's sweet. Chiffon, though. Oof. Oh, hi, Joann's. You guys have seen this print in a thousand different variations. I think they had it in a knit. They also have it in a rayon chalet or some kind of polyester, which is probably what this is. That's cute though. I like that. It's like asymmetrical, but it still has a strap. <laughs> and I guess this little piece balances this out. So yeah, that's cute. Is that different? Oh yeah, that is different. I guess your arm goes through here. Interesting. That's cute. That's really cute. And then there's the girl again. Those are cute. I like those. Are the hems asymmetrical? Let's look. Oh, yeah. A little scooped hem. I don't know if I what I think about that. It looks cute on her because she doesn't have a figure. <laughs> but it might make my hips look wider. I would maybe flatten out that hem. No big deal to do that, though. Cute in the back. Is that the same version as this? Yeah, that's the back side of that. That's cute. I really like this one. Yeah, this one's really sweet. And a good use of all those rayon fabrics. All right, where am I? Here's the next one. 
Joanne again. That's is that the same fabric as the last one? Maybe. I have this in a knit. If it's knit, I'm not sure. Um oh yeah, it's gotta be knit. That's cute. Interesting. I like that one. Am I liking all the red dresses? Is that is that what's happening here? <laughs> Am I just like really drawn to red today? That's cute. Do you guys, I don't know about this little center tie. I don't know. It looks a little fussy here. This is cute though with the waist tie. Yeah, I don't know. That one's okay. I give that one like a B, a solid B. Um, all right. Oh, this is like a little tiered dress. These can look a little matronly in my opinion. Very mother of the bride. Again, though, just a basic swing shift dress. Those are very comfortable for summer. Got to give them that. Doesn't that just look old? It looks old to me. Maybe it's the print too, though. Yeah. Eh. Palmer plush, though, so you know it's going to fit well. Um, so if you guys are typically, like having issues through the bust. Um, I'm sure that they'll have very detailed instructions on how to do a full bust adjustment with the Palmer plush brand. All right. Oh, this one looks cute already. A little romper I've seen. Oh, oh, it's like a skirt. That's cute. A little low, right? Like if you had actual boobs, you'd need to raise it. But I do like how tailored it looks. Oh, look at that. Very interesting. I can see Erica Bunker making this. Whoa, psychedelic fabric. That's cool, though. Oh, that's cute with the contrast stripes and gingham with the skort. I don't, I'm kind of digging a skort. Let's bring skorts back. I don't know why they ever left. Cute. I like this one. Oh, there it is on a different girl. I don't know why they did that. I guess they just liked both of the photos. Yeah, you might have to do some reshaping here if you're not digging the super low vibe. Um, but I think it's cute. Let's see a back view. Interesting. So it's a skirt all around, but shorts underneath right? That's definitely a short, right? Let me see if they have it better here. It's got to be because the other one is pants. Interesting. That's cute. Look how short it is though, guys. Like, whoa, lots of leg, but this version's adorable. So is this one. Cute. Petite romper and jumpsuit. Yeah. All right, here's another romper. Okay. Okay, a little basic. Cute dress, deep V. I'm assuming that's a slit. Very close fitting here, which doesn't usually jive with me. Look at that fit on her bum. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not sure this one would fit me very well. Just a little too straight line. I mean, I know I could alter it, but I prefer the one before this one anyways. This, I bet, is very flattering, though. Like a, This must be like a half circle skirt or quarter circle skirt even. But because it has the center front seams, you could do a play on stripes or color blocking. So that could be cool. Little basic. All right, here we are. Oh, bathing suit and cover up. Bikini, jumpsuit, and belt. Okay. Cute. Just a simple triangle that ties on the shoulder. Oh, and in the back. That's interesting but no ties on the bikini. 
but that is a very low coverage bikini, which actually is kind of hard to find in bikini sewing patterns. I feel like a lot of them are those like retro ones that is like your whole bum is covered. And that's, I mean, not my style. And then here's the cover up. Oh, that's neat. It's like a halter. Oh, and it's like partially lined. Huh. That's kind of cool. I dig that. I don't dig that fabric. But it does look like they were able to get the fabric in the swimwear as well as the cover up. So that's pretty cool. What's the front of the jumpsuit again? Just a crossover. And I'm guessing the belt is detached. Yeah, that's cute. I like that one. Oh, Nicole Miller too. Cool. All right. This is a cute top. This reminds me of the simplicity top I just made. I like her bun. Oh, but the simplicity one I made is knit and this looks like it's woven. That's cute. Oh, Laura Ashley. Laura Ashley brand. Oh, sweet. Emily Holman, if you're watching, I know we'll see you in something like this. Cute balloon sleeves. Oh, did they make matching shorts to make it like a faux romper? That's cute. And there she is with jeans. I like that one the best, I think. Interesting. Just a little hook and eye closure to get it on. How would you even close that, though, without help? You know what I'm saying? You can't reach around to that part of your back. Huh. I don't know if that was very well thought out. <laughs> uh, yeah, I might have to swap that out for a zipper. Because I don't know that I could get that small hook and eye closed. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right, where are we? We're here. Oh, ice skater. That's my first impression. Does not look like an ice skating outfit. Whoa. Color blocking. Short sleeves. Yeah, not feeling this one. I bet it fits great though. Wonder how it looks like as a full dress and not just this tunic length. Huh. Or like, let's go back to this version. Oh, the princess seams go turn into, it would be easy to lengthen it. I'm sure there's a lengthen short line in here somewhere. That could be cute. I don't know. I've done patterns like this before where it's like all the different panels and it's just not flattering in the tummy for me. This reminds me of Kendall Jenner right? That's interesting. There's going to be lots of views, lots of variations on this one. Whoa. A little corset. That's cute. You know, I love a ruffle and a flounce. Crop top. Is that zipper? Yeah. Invisible zipper, I think. Oh, and pants. No, it just says tops. Are there pants in here? No, it's just the top. I guess that must be a different pattern. Get it, girl. That's really the only one I like, and I don't like to buy patterns if I only like one of the views. Crop tops, not for me. Oh, here are the pants of the, um, that they paired with that crop top. Look at these, y'all. <laughs> Those could be cool. And you'd have to go with like a busy all over floral print though, I think. Wow, look at that. Bell bottoms. Wide leg pants. Those are nice. Very tailored. I'm not sure what I'm thinking about these. 
what is oh it's a lot oh it's a flat front and then elastic back that actually makes me like it more <laughs> is that weird but I don't know about these crazy legs though I'd have to see it you know it's one of those things where you're like oh I don't know but then you see somebody make it out of like a cute fabric and you're like oh yeah I bet these flounces are insane I don't know. I'm on the fence. It could be cute. It could be really cute. Definitely view B would be one I would make. All right. Still going. Here's a Melissa Watson pattern. Is this just like a kimono? Yeah, I guess so. It's like a tunic and a kimono. Interesting. Looks like a bathrobe. Oh, hey, with your sleeve. <laughs> Very cute. I guess they typecasted this one. Uh huh. Interesting. It's definitely different. I don't know if it's my style per se, but it's interesting. All right, here's this one. Oh, that's sweet. I like that. A little matronly with the, I guess that's like sanded silk or something. Look how cute she looks with her jean shorts. And her sand. I like that. That's cute to me. I like how the, it's like all one piece. You see how the bodice just goes to the sleeve here? I like that. And so you have either with the waist seam or without. I'm digging this one. Where's this view? I don't remember seeing that one with the ruffles here and here. That's cute. Nice. Here's another one. Okay, it's a little preteen. Okay. Interesting. It's a little fussy. Those sleeves are something else. I don't know. It could be cute though. Am I too old to wear this? <laughs> Maybe it's the contrast ribbon bows. Like I think I might like it better if it, the bows were made out of the cell fabric or even just like a white and not that polka. I don't know. Something about it is reading like very young to me. This one could be cool. Different. And I have been looking for some different kinds of tops that aren't just like plain boxy tops. Oh, this one's real cute. I love that halter neckline. And there's a flounce, which y'all know I also love. This one has facings. That's cool. Pretty. That's just like a cropped version, which honestly, I don't hate. Oh, that's interesting. It goes way down. It's like high-low in a shirt. Cute. They only gave us one back view? Come on. Back, back, back. Oh, here are all the backs. Oh, this is a back view. Oh, I see all the front. Okay, okay. Here are your fronts. You can either have this front or you can have like a longer scoopy front like this. And then your back options are this is one back option. This is another one. And this is another one. That's cute. I feel like I would get a lot of use out of that. You could make all three versions and they would all feel different, I think. And then we are into accessories and dolls, which I'm going to skip over because I don't make clothes for dolls or children or cosplay. But oh my gosh, let's just look at the dog clothes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dog hats, harness, and cape. Look at that dog hat. <laughs> 
Sonny would never. Oh my gosh. Look at that army one. <laughs> that just makes me smile. The harness is interesting. What is this skirt? Oh, do you make a matching skirt to go with your dog? Or is that like a mistake and it's not supposed to be on here? Because I don't... Oh, is that what that is? I don't even know what's happening. Oh, that's the cape. That's like... That's the dog cape. Wow. Okay. Well. And there's the little bow tie. Interesting. Sunny would never go for this, but maybe your dog will. All right. So that does it for the McCall's summer collection. Um, all in all, I think they did a really good job. It's definitely very summery and has me feeling all the resort vibes. Um, but there is a good variety there. Um, and good options within the patterns. Love this one. That's definitely going to happen. This one and this one. Um, and this romper too, I think would be great. Love this top with shorts. Yeah. They have some really good stuff this season. I'm very excited. So let me know in the comments down below, what was your favorite? Um, which ones are you going to pick up? Um, also let me know, do you like this type of video? I can certainly do these screen share videos more often, um, with other brands, with indie patterns, with fabric, even let me know what y'all think. And I will say these girls dresses are really cute. Um, and if you like them and I will keep doing them, but until next time, I will see you all very soon. Bye.